Game Maker, how to give your monsters and enemies little health bars that follow underneath them and when the mouse goes over them. Now, it's really important for this video. There's actually two little pre-videos you have to watch. One is called Health Bar Rectangle. And if you haven't looked at the other, called Player Health Bar. It's nice to have those two first. This one's tiny bit harder. Okay, a few, few extra lines. So go watch those ones. Uh, there'll be stuff that I've already talked about in there. So let's get to it. Let's go to the monster. And for the monster to draw a health bar, let me show you what I've already set up. When the monster is created, I've given them a hit point of five. And I'm also keeping track of their maximum hit points, five. So we know that uh, what's the most hit points they could possibly have. When they're hit by an arrow, I make the hit points go down by one. If they hit zero, they're destroyed. Okay, so we have a way here just to watch the hit point bar drop. Okay, here's the actual hit point bar that will be drafting out this hit point variable. I'm going to add an event, draw. Now, the draw event, I've actually put it here in monster. Every monster is going to be responsible for drawing their own hit point variable in the form of a bar. So let's grab a little code. And this is the point where we said you should watch the video on health bar rectangle or player health bar. Because I'm just going to go bam. And there's the code we saw before in our player health bar. So you'll see here we have the bar with the 20. And then we have the ratio. How many hit points do they have out of their maximum hit points, right? So they have 2 out of 5. Do they have 1 out of 5? Do they have 5 out of 5? That's going to determine how much of the yellow health bar uh, I draw widthwise. Okay, so that's the code. Now let's test that out. Keeping in mind, all my monsters right now have the full 5 out of 5. And you're going to notice something. You'll notice the monsters are gone, but the health bars are there. Now, this is expected because there's a little rule with Game Maker. As soon as you touch the draw method by adding the draw event here, I should have said event there, by the way. As soon as you touch the draw event, you've sort of given up all the automatic drawing that Game Maker did before of drawing that sprite out for you. So even though our health bar code is working totally fine, I should actually sneak just above here and actually draw my sprite out. Now you have to do this manually. So luckily the command is pretty easy here. There's a method called draw sprite. And you'll see it wants a sprite, which frame to draw, and the position. So all I do here is the easiest way and the most general way is there's already a variable keeping track that your monster is using the sprite s monster, And that variable keeping track of that is called sprite index. So it's already holding s monster inside of it or a reference to it so you can just put sprite index there you don't actually have to type s underscore monster even though you could okay this is probably better for a more general use it wants to know what sub image to draw now if i say zero it'll just draw frame zero of the animation if i say one it'll always draw frame one if i say two it'll always draw frame two what i'm going to put here is negative one which means carry on. Whatever frame was last, go to the next one. So that's perfect. Okay. You probably usually want to put negative one in there. Let Game Maker handle which frame is the next frame to draw if it happens to be an animated sprite. Now it wants an X and Y position. Let's give it just the X and the Y. I'm coding in the monster. So that's the X and the Y of the monster. This, in effect, replaces what Game Maker was doing automatically for you before, but now you have to add that line in because you've touched the draw event and modified it. Let's see if this works. It better work because I don't know what else to do. Ah, there we go. 
There are those health bars, beautifully following the monsters. Now, here's the best part. When I actually hit. Okay. There we go. The health bars are working beautifully. That's not too much code for a nice little, uh, nice little effect like that, right? Now, I know they're not perfectly centered. I didn't want to complicate the math on this one. But here I just left X. So maybe I should do something like... X minus 10, X minus 10, X minus 10, X minus 10. So everything shifted over a little bit, right? So this should move the health bar to the left. And that doesn't look too bad, right? So you have to obviously fiddle. Sometimes that uh, wastes the most time in making games is you uh, have to fiddle with the graphics and get all those pixel things bang on. Next video I'm going to do that just follows up on this one is going to be the mouse over health bar. Maybe you don't want these annoying graphics there all the time. You just want them over there when the mouse is over the object. So I'll just quickly show you how to do that one. That video is going to be called mouse over health bar. Thanks for watching.